Brothers and sisters in Christ, today I speak to you with words of gravity and urgency, inspired by the testimony of St. Faustina Kowalska, messenger of the Divine Mercy. In her sacred writings, she revealed the horrific realities of hell, a place of eternal torment far from the light of God. Sister Maria Faustina Kowalska, in her divine mission, transcribed her experiences and revelations in a diary. This task, inspired by Jesus' desire and guided by the suggestions of her spiritual confessors, led to the creation of a faithful document that recounts the dialogue between her soul and the Lord. In this diary, Jesus refers to Faustina as the secretary of my deepest mystery, entrusting her with the task of documenting every aspect of his divine mercy. These writings, Jesus said, would provide inner comfort and encouragement to souls who read them, urging them to seek closer communion with him. The words from her diary describe in detail her vision of hell, explaining and showing the punishments that souls must face. Here are her words. Today, under the guidance of an angel, I was in the depths of hell. It is a place of great torment throughout its terrifyingly vast expanse. These are the various punishments I saw. The first punishment, which constitutes hell, is the loss of God. The second, the continuous remorse of conscience. The third, the awareness that this fate will never change. The fourth punishment is the fire that penetrates the soul but does not annihilate it. It is a terrible punishment. It is a purely spiritual fire ignited by the wrath of God. The fifth punishment is continuous darkness, a horrible suffocating stench. And although it is dark, the demons and the damned souls see each other and see all the evil of others and their own. The sixth punishment is the continuous company of Satan. The seventh punishment is the tremendous despair, the hatred of God, the curses, the maledictions, the blasphemies. These are punishments that all the damned suffer together, but this is not the end of the torments. There are particular torments for various souls, which are the torments of the senses. Each soul is tremendously and indescribably tormented according to the sense with which it sinned. There are horrible caverns, chasms of torment, where each punishment differs from the other. I would have died at the sight of those horrible tortures if not for the omnipotence of God supporting me. Let the sinner know that with the sense with which he sins, he will be tortured for all eternity. I write this by order of God, so that no soul may justify itself by saying that hell does not exist, or that no one has ever been there and no one knows what it is like. I, Sister Faustina, by order of God, have been in the depths of hell to tell about it to souls and to testify that hell exists. Now I cannot speak of this. I have the order from God to leave it in writing. The demons showed great hatred towards me, but by order of God they had to obey me. What I have written is a weak shadow of the things I have seen. One thing I noticed, namely, that most of the souls that are there are souls that did not believe that there was a hell. When I came back to myself, I could not recover from the fright at the thought that souls suffer so tremendously there. For this I pray with more fervor for the conversion of sinners, and I ceaselessly invoke God's mercy for them. Let us deeply reflect on these words. May the terror of hell inspire us to seek God with greater fervor, to live lives of holiness and love. Let us pray that God's divine mercy touches every heart, guiding souls to salvation. Remember, God's mercy is always greater than our sins, but we must receive it with repentant and humble hearts. 
St. Faustina warned us, stay away from sin, stay close to God. It is the path to avoid the torments of hell and embrace the promise of eternal life in the kingdom of heaven. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to become part of our community of faith and prayer. May God bless us all. Sister Faustina, I have seen hell. I tell you what happens. Please, I beg you, listen to me.